yeah. the chief judge of a state, mm. Delta State. Wow. Who uh, he put up? I I I, I think I, I saw it yesterday mm. on on Twitter, mm -hmm. and um, it was quite interesting because he is divorced to the woman in question. They've oh. been divorced for uh, for over eleven years. Yeah. Oh wow! His first wife. Understand? He has three kids with her. Supposedly, he had three kids with her, and then he, the second wife, he has four kids with the second wife. Okay. Okay. Making seven Making children. Making seven children. Mm. You know? Okay. And then he said he got an anonymous tip. Huh. <laughs> wow. An, an anonymous tip Goodness. last year mm -hmm. during um, the COVID period that the last child of the first wife was mm. not his. Whoosh. So he said he wanted to do it test, but because of uh, the restrictions COVID, and all yeah. that, he had to wait till later on the year and found out that that last child was not his. But then something made him go further. Mm. And then he found out that none of the three. Oh, hey! Goodness me. None of the first three. The youngest is like 17. He has been taking care of them fully. He's mm. a, they are oh well in, days. you know. Mm. And he said it was so traumatizing for the, the, the current wife had to now go, he had to now go do a daily test. I oh found out that no. the four oh, kids from oh, the second no. wife but are his. Yo. Oh. I just, I, I really feel for, for the kids themselves, you know, because everybody looks at the guy. And yeah, okay, the guy was taking care of them. But the truth is, if they were his, he would have still taken care of them, right? Whatever happened, happened over a certain number of years. The youngest is 17, mm -hmm. right? So for 17 years, that child has, you know, loved this yeah, father. The, the father has loved this child. They've had a great, they've probably gone on holidays together. They've had so many great memories. Mm -hmm. So because of just one document, all that changes. I just feel... Like, uh, everybody looks at the father and doesn't look at how it well, affects how, the, the kids. The kids, yeah. the kids will be like, yes. oh my gosh, this yeah. man is not... But he loved them like they were. I did find out that my grandparents mm. were in my parents when I was 16. Mm. Okay. Okay. And you always thought they were your parents. Yeah, mm. and they kept it away from... In fact, they never planned to tell me because, mm. of, the, because of what society... Mm. Well, societal expectations, how my mm. mom had been when she was in secondary school, and it was they just thought it was going to be best to protect me mm. because now for, mm. I can relate how these kids feel because I know how I felt mm. thinking of so who is my dad and mm. why mm. didn't my dad want me? And that was like 16. That was, I was 16, mm. and wow. for like four or five years, I was still trying to navigate this Put new identity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I can only imagine how the kids would be because at this stage, to be honest. Mm. If their dad leaves them, that's even going to be more disastrous mm, for them. because they're going to deal with esteem issues. Mm. They're going to deal with identity issues because mm. it's now more of, so who am I? Mm. But when I saw the tweet, I retweeted mm. and uh, there, are all, there are some comments under it. Uh, someone mm. said, okay, this is very personal, but it said reason number... Three thirty four million eight hundred and twenty five or three million four hundred eighty two thousand five hundred eighty four. Why DNA test should be made compulsory at childbirth. childbirth? Do you think so? Should it be made compulsory? Oh. Yeah, someone says this uh, reminds me of Nigerian man on the Jeremy Kyle show. It took him thirty two years and a DNA to find out he wasn't a biological father as well.